My goodness, it's really coming down out there. All right, here's a video series I thought of. Today is about scales, by the way, but before I can get into that, wait a minute, I had an idea for a series. So since these are my socks, how many miles can you run in a pair of socks before they get holes? I need to work on the title a little bit for TikTok. But I had this idea yesterday and I was like, yeah, I like that idea, but it's raining right now. I still think we can do it. Sorry, it's not just raining, it's storming. Okay, see you later. Hello, oh, you want to say hi too, do you? Yeah. And, and She's you. Ten months. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Isn't it beautiful though? Very well cut. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. Yeah. Bye. Two and a half miles today, not great. I didn't get anywhere near as wet as I thought I would. A little dirty on the ends and sodden wet, so I haven't put my socks on the best foot forward, have I? Here we are then. It's still wobbling. I was gonna come in and say, oh, what is it I need again? It's kind of setting the scene. Okay, little drill. Why, do I need a tiny drill like this? No, well, actually kind of. I haven't forgotten about this, uh, the scale type thing. We're gonna get onto that shortly. I'm a bit naughty when I come here. I like to look at the different foods that are around. So here, I've got some chili cheese fries, Pringles, and Mexican street corn. Never had Mexican street corn. My whole time here, never had it. Some hot honey, okay. I'm just, I'm such an adventurous character. I think that's what it is. I'm not, I'm horribly unadventurous when it comes to food. Well, good food. Okay, did you want? We need to make some real shopping changes here. My wife's asked me to pick up some makeup for her. And the initial picture on the makeup is of the product. That doesn't bloody help me. I need what the box looks like. So instead of this being the first picture, I need bloody hell, so many photos. This, that would help me find it in a flash. Bro, now we are starting to see this, the action pack come into its own. I don't even think that's the name I gave it. To go bag. This type of packaging. Come on, USB-C charger. It's gonna charge up the drill. Oh, Oliver. You have outdone yourself again. And that will be charged for when I get home. Oh yeah, uh, I'll tell you why I bought it in a minute. I didn't plan this, but while I'm here, I'm gonna take out the old Owlet cam and move this one up there. We didn't just arbitrarily buy a new camera. This one, honestly, I don't think this Owlet cam was that great to begin with. Oh dear, I just pulled the whole screw out the wall. It constantly disconnected from the Wi-Fi. And because we have the second child, we need one that can you can watch two at the same time and that's what this does this isn't very heavy so i'm sure it's okay with just hanging in the wall yeah job done well <laughs> that's the side quest done so our son is scared of goblins and i need to do something to change that all right so our son loves reading books but this one is his favorite now that's not a problem until you come to this story about goblins now when we started reading this to him we would ask him if they're mean or nice goblins, you know, just playing around. Except that's become his source of nightmares and he'll run out of his room any time in the night. And of course that's my job to help him. So we tried plug in night lights, but he just likes pulling those out. Number one, number two, number three. That's where it should be. So now dad has a chance to practice some dad stuff and check out my hyper masculine drill. Hi Rugies. But I have to read the instructions. Stuff dropping out. I think this is pretty straightforward. Okay, interesting. These just slip out. Yeah. What the hell? 
Right, new thing I just learned is that you need a screwdriver to release something here to actually get these out. Who knew? Probably every other man but me. But now we're cooking. Oh, I should probably go and turn off the electrics. Just kidding. What do you think? I'm some kind of amateur? Hopefully. <coughs> Duda! You don't need to bark, dude. Nothing to bark at. Toiting those up with this. Dude, this thing is actually... I like the idea of just having this thing in the house. Instead of having to go and get the drill. Or like, because I can't be bothered to go and get the drill, having to do it by hand. Funny enough, heart that I bought this for, that's what I was meant to tell you, wasn't it? The reason I went out to go and get this is to use it in a video to then send on to Hart since we've been kind of talking about something and they've just emailed now. So before I deal with that, I'm just gonna focus on this. Before I do anything, I should check that it all works, shouldn't I? Okay. <gasps> well, it's on. I, d I just turned it back on to check it was working and the light isn't working, but I did just electrocute myself. I wanna check that, because the light isn't working on it. Neither is that, but there's power flowing through it. Did you push the button on the light? Yeah, it's not really a light button. No, did you push the light on the other button? Oh, it's oh, it's a sensor, isn't it? We are cooking. Oh, power off. It's amazing how quickly you realize you just don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Two more to go. Okay, contrary to everything I told you about the reason for doing the night lights, he actually sleeps fine during his nap. So he's having a nap right now. And I thought I'd try out these toe separators. A bit of fluff in there. Now these toe separators are designed to help fix your posture. Okay. Oh God, I've got to look up how to put these on. So I like to doom scroll Timu about once every month. And these look fun to try. So as someone who's played sports for 20 plus years of their life continuously, I've got to fix my foot posture. Half the bloody work is getting them into position. Do I know if these are gonna help? No. It's really spreading my toes out. <laughs> my feet are so manky. There's a massive crack in my foot. Dude, these are uncomfortable as hell. But I don't wanna be a 40 year old walking around in overused white girl Ugg boots. <laughs> Mexican wave. Now, I've been told to wear these for 30 minutes to start with. That's doable. Ten minutes in, and they're so bloody uncomfortable. I'm putting my odd daisy socks back on. I flip it wide. My feet look. <sighs> it's like the gross feeling is just stuck in my head, like how I imagine that water dripping torture method, where it seems fine, doesn't seem like it's going to be any issue, and then it just drives you nuts. Like all my feet want to do is just come closer. Oh gosh. The state of my nails. I want to show you something. Uh, no. Okay, this is a nail cutter. I wouldn't, uh, trust me. Compared to one of these, amazing. So you can buy this on TikTok shop for $13 or you can buy it straight from Timu for $9, which is what I did. It's got two settings, you just... Right, can you see this? It's just a spinning sharp blade, I guess. And you just charge it by USB-C, it's amazing. Shay hated this to begin with but eventually she's come round to loving it. Two minutes left. At least this has taken my mind off of the, how horrible it feels. And then you can polish them off. Oh, and there's the time. All right, let's get these things off. Oh, it feels so weird now. Nice to have you back, fellas. All right, I'll keep doing it for the next seven days and see if there are any results. That'll do. Hi, bud. What, you got a book? You want to read it? Oh, is this a new book? Can you go upstairs and I'll read this to you when I come up? I guess you can have it. You can just play in the drawer for a minute. Oh, thank you. All right, so I see everything in life as a scale. You start at zero and you can go all the way up to 100 or max. What's up, Rugis? Draw, that is for drawing. Good job. Oh, thank you. Can you can you write your name on here? Just up here. 
Nice job. Not on me, you little crazies. Can you sit on that chair and watch? Oh, no, I need this. Okay. This is where you start in your life, but you can always progress. And 100 is just an arbitrary number, but it's just the way I think about it. You start off with zero empathy, or the same empathy that everybody else has. Here's an example of ours. Our latest son, most recent son, our youngest son, he was in the intensive care unit for three weeks. And I went from what I thought was a level of empathy of understanding how people feel in that kind of situation to being in a situation and being overwhelmed with this feeling of empathy for myself, for my wife, for Ruger, Dad. for our new child. Dad. Oh, is that a pencil? So going through this experience, I learned a new level of empathy. Now using empathy as an example, a lot of people think they know everything about empathy. What am I doing with this? <laughs> they think they know all of this, but once they learn a new experience, either they open up this whole new gully that they didn't know existed, or they realize they're back down here on an empathy knowledge scale. The same goes for any of these, even legitness. I think you can also tell that for DIY, I'm basic, I'm like at one down here. But every time I do a project, Dad, I move Dad. up a notch. Dad. How did you get that out? Dad. You naughty boy. I, I need to go finish his room. Does this make sense? Everything in my life is a scale. I think about it from zero going up here. That is all three done. Let's see how he sleeps. Are you gonna sleep better with your new night lights tonight? Yes, good boy. We need to turn the power back on. Oh yeah, leave it there, I'll clear it up. Hold on, Rooks. Battery's like almost dead. So, there's one that's working. There's two that's working. Does this one work, Rugies? Come on, come on in and tell me if it works. Come on in, quick, 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 quick. Good yeah. job. Oh, look, Rugie, it works. That's your new night lights. What do you think? That's it, uh, battery's gonna die. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.